Okay, so NOAA is a technological process that is connected to what mainstream call a pole shift event. Would you like to meet NOAA? This is created by NOAA. The morning glory is very aptly named, isn't it? Some people call these roll clouds. But ask yourself this, what could possibly make clouds behave like this? Only electromagnetics have the power to do this. Electromagnetics on a grand scale. Notice the rotating vortex contained and held stationary. In some cases it appears to release the clouds and the, and the winds take them away, which probably means it just shut down and the clouds blew away. This can also be related to the four pressure changes we record daily. Another option is the halo that is holding the clouds actually starts moving in a certain direction, which reminds me of the Antikytherian mechanism in a way, which means there is a very large electromagnetic device moving below. On the subject of gravity and pull, there is no such force as a pulling force, but there is an obvious pushing effect from these halos that can affect oceans and seas. You would only need to increase the power into the halo to increase the pressure. These halos can be seen stretching for hundreds of miles and are very predictable in some locations. Isn't this truly amazing people? Look at that. Here is more proof of electromagnetic evidence. This clip captured by Kim Johnson shows some very unusual patterns formed by clouds. They appear to follow a path. I want you to take note of the shape it creates. That path can be seen here in this electromagnetic data recorded by Ceres. This is real world magnetic data overlaid on the map. Real electromagnetic data that is playing a very big part in the movement of luminaries as you can see in these images. The configuration matching a sweetback transformer that moves the sun's image across the sky as the sun and probably other luminaries are captured on top of the cones in use. This also requires the Sun's physical model to be below us, and we are seeing the projection above. Take a good look people, and memorise these shapes as you will notice them in the heavens. This image here is from over Antarctica looking north. See how the magnetic data always appears to be in sets of three. The locations they connect having a very big part in causing quakes and following luminaries as they are enabled. Here is more proof captured by Super Day 44. Again, clouds following an invisible path. Take note of the shapes. You will notice these more and more and now we have an answer for them. When you see them, try and check your compass to see if it is in north to south alignment or more electromagnetic data being revealed that follow different paths. Going back to the pressure changes, for you people recording long distance flat earth proofs, consider this compression and why you sometimes see different views from the same location. 
Some scenes look in more compressed and some look in much clearer and thus allowing you to see further distances. We now have a cause for this compression and expansion. Various halos turning on and off creating the pressure changes recorded daily. It condenses the atmosphere as you can see happening in this video recorded by Sandra. Try it yourself, you will be surprised at the differences recorded from the same location and height of camera. Ok, so on with identifying Noah. We believe the central halo is Noah. You may remember back in 2017 I was looking into the oceans receding in South America. Here is how they tie in. Let's check along the was path. As you can see here, this halo intersects here alongside other parts of the grid. Definitely a busy area and receding oceans. Again, this halo is close to the landmass and here we have the same ocean receding event in Ecuador. Central America. All this area was affected and will continue to be so, as this halo goes right through this area. The events are not just contained to the halo's path, the lines from the grid are also electromagnetically pulsed it seems. You can see where one of the primary eight are in the Gulf of Mexico. They create a spiral in vortex which is what is responsible for tornadoes and such. Florida the location I placed the spider from the Nazca Lines overlay, probably meaning dangerous waters due to the amount of the grid and halo intersections below this area. I haven't found any as yet from Spain and South Africa. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Perhaps this side of the halo gets the reverse effect, rising waters. So, I looked into the next larger halo and other events, Badger, California, Rushikonda Beach, India, both having the same receding ocean events, and Northern Australia, especially the Gulf of Carpentaria, famous for its amazing display of morning glory, an obvious sign there is much halo electromagnetic activity going on below here. You may have noticed I used the image of Moses in the decode. I could not find an image of Noah and the reason I used Moses in this video is because of the mention of the parting of the Red Sea. The only one crossing the Red Sea is on a, one of our primary eight which leads into Saudi Arabia. This would have the capability to part that sea. It says Moses is a fictitious character and we would agree. None of them are characters. They are technological processes. Moses, be a good chap and show these fine people how you part the Red Sea. <laughs> 